Oh uh, yeah, I heard about that. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I did hear about that. Did you know that a lot of these similar men in the states and state nationwide, knowing that their states are hurting for cash, mm. knowing that they have to pay other bills, cutting people's jobs, Love. making them work and take fre- freelo uh, hours out, frolo hours, furlough. Thank you, furlo hours. Thank you. Are being cut, and yet Karen Bass has basically increased her staff salary. Some of them have gone from 120 to 180 to 140. I want to join her team. I can't beat them. Join Let's join the team with some cash. Yeah. Get, get, put the gun down and get in line and get a check. You got to pay your dues for that uh, election base. You now, know, what, now what three public is base. giving out? Mm. Justice and truth. Oh, shit. Justice and truth. I need some cash. I need somebody I can take I to the bank. The truth. Oh, that's why you watch the hiphoprepublican.tv. When you got assembly men, assembly women, senators, and people in the House and the state giving stabs and promising jobs and you know, all this underhand tabling, lobbying, unlobbying uh, upon the people a scenario. This is not right, America. We cannot sit back and let this to happen, allow this to happen, and you don't even have a job. And you're mad as hell. And you're getting your gun. And you're spitting and calling black people Negroes and niggas. But, Shirley, so, so, so you're not agreeing with the, the people in the party right now who are trying to say the answer is to be more conservative. Because you know that's, I the think that's what. The answer is to be conservative. No, to be more conservative. You've got to be conservative, period. You need to look at it in a logical manner. You need to identify that the important purpose of capitalism, which we've talked in the past show, our message has not changed here. It is not going to change here. We're going to talk about unemployment. We're going to talk about capitalism. We're going to talk about being a conservative because obviously this radical save the world, feed the hungry, take care of America, it's going to cost somebody some money. Where does this money come from? I want to know. You tell me. It's cre- we live on a from? credit economy. Don't we just make the money? It grows on trees. Oh, it just comes out of my pocket. It, it, out it's of my imaginary money. money that's paying for the war. It's, a, it's imaginary money. And that same war your president won't end. He promised to make an uh, end in war, Daniel. Tell me. Why oh, he said we would be out by this summer. Yeah, we're uh, supposed next to be out. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Why isn't we not out? Why are we not out? Mm. Uh, because they, shit was fucked up before he got there. Shit and, was fucked oh, so up. watch, look at that French. Wait, that my French. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Because we have 7,000 <laughs> drones <laughs> flying over <laughs> Afghanistan. Right. 7,000. It's, it's much funner to play video games than deal with the reality of putting troops out there, but even though their lives are in danger and troops are dying every day. We understand the importance of war, too, that we understand that we want freedom for all countries, including America. And you know that this thing was started and sparked because you attacked America. So let's go about that. Do you support the war, Shirley, though? Because Sassy's Sassy's supporting. Now, Sassy, you know you have a strong supporter. Yes. First of all, we got to acknowledge Sassy in the room. And Norma, too. And she's a strong supporter. But now this is the thing. I'm not going to let you guys slide on one thing. You can't criticize Obama for supporting the war if you support the war, too. So I need to ask Sassy, too. Do you think the president Are Are you supporting this war? Well, you know, well, let's go back and finish answering Danielle's question. She keeps saying, why is this war not over? You're saying, Because y'all why support this war. No, I didn't say why it's not over. I said I think it should be over. You think I, it should be over? I think it should be over. Oh, and Sassy, it's time you to, stop it's, uh, trifling. It's time. It's just time to bring everybody home. But I said that I said that in, right. in the other administration. You I, know, anytime you have young people you know, in war, it's horrible. And I don't, I don't support death. Uh, but I do know that wars have gone on through centuries and decades. We can't be... And blind to that, but I, I don't support death. But I will tell you, at that time, we do need war. I do believe that it needs to come to some kind of solution. It continues yeah. on with no kind of answer. We do need wars to end a lot of disruption that goes on and where people think that they have the right to do things that they can't. But on the other hand, it, and also war creates a freedom process, and that's what I know that we're doing in this country, and we're allowing our troops to go over to bring justice in areas outside as well as make sure people realize the importance and the strength of America. I would love to see this come to some kind of fold or some kind of conclusion, some kind of answers. We want resolved answers regarding the war. Let's finish up with health care. Last note on health care, as we also talked about, you know that there are now states suing, getting ready to line their lawsuits in the attorney's I thought board. it was 12, but I think it's going up. You think it's going up? I, think I thought it's going it was to go up. 15. I yeah, it's going to go up because of the money's involved, because a lot of them are afraid <laughs> it's going to bankrupt them. A lot, of, a lot of them was concerned about bankrupt. A lot of them are concerned, basically... Basic question, how are we going to pay for this, President? Well, that's, just, that's a question. How are we going to pay for mm. this? Everyone is making sure they get paid. Senators and assemblymen are paying their staff extra money. Other people are getting promised jobs, like Congressman Isa has basically stated over and over. Where is the justification there? Where is the investigation of our leaders paying people to extra money and giving special favors? 
Where is the investigation of that? Who's investigating Republicans and Democrats and Independents? These they are the leaders themselves. of this country. <laughs> They're investigating each other, but we they need to, to hold them accountable, I know, they get America. to investigate themselves. <laughs> we need to it's hold them It's an honor system, Shirley. It's the honor system of government. Kill the bill! <laughs> we want to repeal that bill? Kill the bill! Do we think it's going to get killed? You know, it's already law. I mean, all honesty, I don't know how they're going to repeal it. Even though people have given me different ideas and tweeted me and told me, you know, I, I don't want us to be derailed by this bill, Republicans. I'm telling you, you're watching the show because you hear a little different twist. I tell you, the next thing is honesty. I have, well, this week we come together, Shirley. I suggest after about three years, we default on the bill. Just don't pay them. See, this is the we can come now, together. That's a good point. The radical leftists, and the, we can just say, we thought it over, and $871 billion is too much, much, $200 billion, and we'll talk to you later. Right. Checks in the mail, though. Checks and checks and I owe promise I owe you, yeah. Promissory yeah. Sixty-eight, notes. you I owe you, do me and I owe you. I owe you and the promissory notes. <laughs> <laughs> do me, baby. Yeah. Do me, baby. That's what I'm saying. So I suggest we just default on the bill and make the insurance companies go broke, and then and then we start a new insurance uh, company, which we can debate over, and then we fund them the other billions. Oh, I'm telling you, you, you should run for office. You got the clear answer. <laughs> <laughs> Government's never that simple. Because what they want to do is complex themselves and seem so complicated so they can keep their jobs. <laughs> and keep being all those attorneys and keep having us think we don't know what we're talking about. But when you disrespect people on the House floor, when you do back deals going on, when you don't have people together from the beginning of the bill, this is why you have people upset. This is why you have people who are out there and they're just a little bit on the edge. Some of them are way over on the edge. Yeah. But then there's other people who are not. That's true. That's true. Well, I think it's good to see what the examples that you're showing. And one thing that, uh, even as your radical leftist, I keep reminding you people, I'm not hip hop or, or Republican. Mm, mm. Stop writing me. Keep writing. Me. Okay, keep stop writing, writing me. me. I keep, but surely you and Lenny and the group really are constant reminders to me. I guess because I have, I'm so I get to see and hear you speak so often of the of the diversity of opinions within that party, just like in the Democratic Party yeah, too. It really is. A, by the way, what is the X on your chest for? Well, you know, I, sure. I had to get rid of. Just trying to understand the problem. Well, I've got know. this man underneath. Look. <laughs> oh, that did that again. hurt? <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna do it again. It has a sound to it. <laughs> we gotta cover him up. I guess the tape helps. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hold him in, boys. Hold him in. Oh, that's, that. an, oh, that gets, that's, that's an that's an Obama T-shirt yes. with, with, with an X on the Obama. The X on the Obama. But with an added sexual flair. Nice man, get him out. <laughs> Got a pretty family, get him out. Got a crazy uh, a partner named Nancy. Oh my God! The you don't like Nancy witch Pelosi? The wicked witch from the West. Oh, you don't like Nancy Pelosi? It's the wicked witch from the West. Wow. The lollipop Shirley, won't, the now, lollipop won't. now, Shirley, if you now if you do have some time, I do have a couple of things to ask you yes, that yes. are kind of fun. That are yes. kind of fun. Go ahead, go ahead. Because I thought this was kind of fun. Because it just came on before we came on the air. Ooh. John McCain is facing stiff uh, competition from somebody. I forget the person. Is this in the primaries? Yeah, in the, yes. for the primary. Yes. And so he's he's reached out to Sarah Palin. Help me, Sarah. <laughs> so Sarah Palin is on her way. Down the, to give a speech with him hmm. to help support it. What do you think about that? Well, you know, we talked about this is. on a previous show that she was going to be campaigning for him a while back. I think two months ago we talked about him, her using each other to campaign. Look, if it wasn't for John McCain, you would never know a Sarah Palin. Let's just keep. Let's you keep like John? Going. You like John McCain? You know what? It's all about one person helping another person. It's not about liking. It's about you ask me. She's out campaigning for him. Of course she ought to. He gave her a national platform. He made her a multiple millionaire. He made her name a household name. Why would she not campaign for John McCain? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's just that simple. Okay. You, know, you, I, rub, you rub my back, I'm going to rub yours. Well, don't you think it's interesting how, it, in, in a sense, this is an, an acknowledgement of the value of her support to you guys. How about that? Yeah. How about the fact that this is acknowledging that having her come out... I mean, you don't have people come out to campaign with you that are going to get you less support. That's a good point. <laughs>